TikTok, Pinterest. Um, I would also look at, let me think, what other companies do we have? There's YouTube. You got to look at YouTube. They do videos, ads as well that are pretty good. Um, you know, you want to do reels and shorts. Shorts are on YouTube. You want to do reels on Instagram um, and you could, you could sponsor them. The goal is at one time we're on all kinds of platforms I've never even fucking heard of. We were on like Bing and that was their website. We, we're in all kinds of shit, right? But I challenged our marketing team. I said, listen, and, you know, we were going public. Like they were like, guys, you're on like five platforms. You need to diversify. What if that fucking platform changed their algorithm? And Facebook did that. Like people do this. And then you're like, fuck. And you're almost starting over. So I, I challenged, I said, I want to be on fucking 30 fucking platforms. And we were on 31 and like 17 of them I never even fucking heard of, but we were on there and it was driving a little bit. And we always paid attention to the ROAS. What was our, you know, maybe it only got 3% of our spend, but it got something because we got something out of it. It made sense. You're always going to have these levers. You're going to, you're going to hit us a peak where it costs too much on a platform because you're seeing the same eyeballs. Right. Yep. So it's like when you hit that peak, you need to know when it's like, okay, I, I don't, that's my threshold. I don't want to go higher than. So and if I need more juice, if I need more customers, I need more volume, more gas. I got to diversify into the other platforms. I can't, push this one too high because you will eventually price yourself out. Like, you know, when you're in a market so long and you're just pounding it in one platform, that shit just goes up. It doesn't go down. So you want it to stay around the same. That's a sweet spot. One thing yep. you'll always notice too, if you expand, and I'm hoping that's what we could get you to do, open up new markets, go in new places. When you do that, the lead cost and your, your goes way down, your, your dispatch goes way down and your ROAS goes way up real fast because you're the first one in there on the digital, right? You know, once you saturate your own market, it stays consistent. I remember when we first started doing digital marketing, like in Michigan, we were paying like $10 a lead. When we closed, we were paying a hundred. Okay. So it went up 10 times. It's okay. We could afford it because we had a great closing rate with a great brand. It was $60,000 ticket with a battery. There were things that we could afford, but at the, when you're fucking first to the fucking thing, it's like dirt cheap because those algorithms, those platforms are throwing you to the front of everybody and people are like eating that shit up. Then after they've seen it 5,000 times, you get diminished returns. So the only way you manage that is diversifying your, your platforms and growing into new markets. That's how you can control that.